so I just wanted to do a quick review of the Julia Donaldson Songbirds first reading books. Um, so a friend of ours kindly gave us a stage one to four pack <laughs> as a gift um, and I really did my research and struggled to know what kind of first books to get for Miriam. So we'd been doing kind of phonics and blending and things at home just on paper and things like that um, and I felt like she was really ready for first books but I borrowed a few from the library. I think those were the Oxford Owl ones, maybe some Osborne ones, I can't quite remember. Um, and I found them too difficult. Like they were saying stage one, um, but they had kind of diagraphs and tricky words and things like that. And I don't, I didn't feel like they were stage one. Um, so I had heard quite a lot of good things about these Julia Donaldson ones, but I wasn't sure kind of what was inside. So I was quite nervous about getting them, but I actually really love them. And I'm gonna turn you around in a minute and show you inside and show you why I love them. So I just wanted to quickly um, show you the stages. So the Julia Donaldson pack that I got goes up to stage four. Stage one and two is first reader, early reader. Stage three and four is growing reader, gaining confidence. And I've just got stage five here is becoming independent. I'm not quite, quite sure what stage six is, um, but obviously I've got stage one to four. So I'm just going to show you those now. So these are all the stage one books that you get in the pack. And there are six stage one books in this pack. And there are more stage one books, I think, that she does that aren't included in this pack, but you can pay for separately. Even the stage one books go up in levels of difficulty. So you've got Top Cat and Sam's Pot. Um, and Bob Bug that are all quite easy books um, but then you it gets slightly harder like Zach and the Vet. Now the stage one books are really really simple and I think they're perfect for Miriam's stage of just understanding phase one and two phonics and just beginning to blend and just getting to know some tricky words. They're also very short whereas with the other the other books that I um, have looked at sometimes they're quite long and she actually just gets bored on like page four but I think these first ones they're eight pages but as you can see there are like four words per page so I'll just show you inside and flick through it so on the front page it says what letters that you're gonna come up against and this book just has one tricky word the word i as you can see all of them are decodable phonics they're not words that kind of have the magic e at the end um or are undecodable there's also a lot of repetition so top cat i am i am and top cat top cat will be repeated on a lot of the pages so a lot of the words um are words that they've read and they're just rereading and rereading and then if i just quickly show you the stage one kind of slightly harder books zach and the vet um, so in this book, you have a lot more um, phonics that they're able to read. And then you have tricky words better, he, the, to, will. Um, so this was perfect in just getting her to um, read in terms of going from very, very easy to a little bit more difficult with more difficult, tricky words. So for stage two, which is the early reader stage, there are actually 12 books in this set and it's the same thing. It starts quite easy, um, not too many tricky words and then you start getting diagraphs in stage two and then it goes to becoming a bit more tricky with diagraphs in a couple of sets of diagraphs in each word and kind of longer words. There are also 12 stage three books um, and again, it's just kind of one step further. You have some trigraphs, um, but also a lot of digraphs that um, make the same sound and then a lot more tricky words. So it's just that one step up again. Um, and also, I forgot to say that as they go on, their books get slightly longer, slightly more pages, 24 pages in that. I think stage two tends to be 10 or 12 pages. And lastly, we have six stage four books. Um, and again, it just goes up kind of one level of difficulty with more tricky words and probably more trigraphs as well. I haven't really properly looked through these, but I'm sure, yeah, they start um, going into trigraphs. So I would highly, highly recommend these books 
for starting to read. I think they're just a really great level for beginner readers. It will last us a long time. Um, so this should do really for reception, definitely for year one and maybe slightly going into year two as well. And then by that stage, we'll be able to borrow a lot more from the library because you'll kind of get into more advanced books by then. And I would definitely recommend it. I just love them and the stories aren't boring as well and they're quite funny and they're quite fun for the adults as well. Yeah, and I don't think there's much more to say about it really. I'd really highly recommend them. I think they're really good. So I hope that was really helpful for anyone that was kind of wanting to look inside these books. I found that when I was looking for them, there was nowhere where I could actually see inside the book, which is really annoying. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend them and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I did just quickly realised that I was using quite a lot of jargon so I just wanted to quickly pop on the end um, and let you know a bit what I meant by some of the words that I was using. So phonics basically just means the sound that letters make so an A makes the sound A, um, a B makes the sound B um, and then when you go to digraphs and trigraphs they're basically digraphs are two die so two letters that make one sound so for example S and a H is two letters, but it doesn't make t, it makes sh, and T and a H doesn't make t, it makes f. Um, and then trigraphs is the same thing, but three letters, for example, A R E um, does make, make R E, it makes R, um, and things like that. So that's all it means. Sorry for using the jargon.